Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool film slide transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what the effect looks like right here, right here, or this is what the transition looks like right here. Now this transition does cost money and it is a plugin and it's part of a pack called the Ryan Nagel New Wave um, plugin pack and yes it costs about $20 so I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description below and there are also things that come there are other things that come actually with the pack as you can see right here in Ryan Nagel New Wave um, uh, bundle right here and here are a whole bunch of different transitions but I want to go over the film transitions right here so let's head over here uh, new project right here and we'll just type in example right here so let's open up the project right here and I'll go ahead and just copy um, both of these clips right here and I'll kind of go over a, diff a couple different ideas when it comes to this train or these transitions right here so here are the two clips um, right here so, and basically, obviously nothing is going to happen because there is no transitions in between the two clips. So you just have the two clips right here, obviously playing with the uh, film border right there. And then honestly, and then obviously nothing happens right here because there's no transition. Um, this clip has a film rule 02 and this one has a film rule 01. Um, in this uh, Ryan Angle New Wave uh, bundle right here, as you can see right here, film rule 02 and then film rule Oh, one these are a couple different overlays that come in the pack but in this video I want to go over the transition so you can see right here here are the two different transitions right here you have this film strip slide right and then you have a film strip slide down now what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna take the transition and you're going to drag it in between um, the two clips right here and that's pretty much all you have to do right there and that's literally all you're gonna do right there just put the transition in between the two clips um, right here and you can just play the transition right here as you can see right there there we go that's what the transition looks like right here so as you can see right here kind of go frame by frame um, of this transition right here just to kind of show you what's actually happening right here so this is what the effect or this is what the transition looks like right there there it is kind of slowed down frame by frame so right here you, you can actually click on the transition and you can mess with a whole bunch of different settings um, within the transition so you could mess with the focus amount and you could just mess with a whole bunch of different settings in the actual transition so let's delete the transition right here and now let's do the film slide um, right right there all you gotta do again just literally import the transition in between the two clips right here and we'll go ahead and play the video right here and show you what the transition looks like right there and there you go it's as simple as that I'll go ahead and kind of go frame by frame just gonna again show you the transition kind of in slow motion right there and there you go you create this really cool transition and again just like the other one you can actually click on the transition and you can actually mess with a whole bunch of different settings right here so you can mess with the gain I mean of the grain you could also mess with the motion blur amount to make it look a lot smoother but you can kind of go in and mess with a whole bunch of different effects or different settings in the for the transition right there and that's literally all you're doing for this effect right here it's kind of a small simple effect right here but I definitely think it's a really cool effect I made a video before talking about like a Kodak um, slide transition but in this video I want to show you you could also do with this really cool um, film overlay transition right here I think this is a really cool and really unique effect and I can definitely see myself and probably tons of other people using this really cool effect or this transition um, right here I definitely really like this hopefully you also like this really cool um, transition again you want to download the Ryan Nago new wave um, plug-in bundle it does cost money about $20 and don't worry, you don't just you don't just get this film transition. You get a whole bunch of other stuff. But in this video, I just want to show you the different um, film transitions. So you only get two. You get the film strip slide down, and you get the film strip slide right. 
And again, all you have to do is just apply the transition in between the two clips right here. Now you're probably gonna want these two clips to be maybe one or two seconds at least, because if they're like if they're like 10 frames, I don't even know if that'll work. You have to make you probably want the clips to be a couple seconds long. That way the transition looks a lot smoother. Um, so yeah, again, probably the clips to be one or two seconds long, just to help actually see the clip before the transition actually comes in. But that's just obviously a word of advice. And I, I'm, I think there's a limit. I don't remember how long a clip has to be, or else the transition won't work because the clip is too small. You can't really transition in between two clips if they're like six frames um, long. So that's pretty much the effect right here. Again, download the bundle. You get these two transitions right here, place it in between the clips, and voila, you have a really cool film um, slide transition right there. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, definitely go ahead and check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.